Good morning. Welcome back to the Pastor Study. Hope you had a great weekend. Some of you I saw over the weekend, some I didn't. And for those I missed, I'm sorry. I uh, look forward to seeing you next week and I uh, hope you'll be here with us for worship. Missed some fun. We learned some new songs. Alex and uh, Charity were here and they taught us some new praise hymns. So we're, we're enjoying those. You'll get a chance to uh, sample those on Sunday. We'll be singing them again just to learn to know them a bit. And, you know, there's all kinds of stuff going on. So we need to lift some things up in prayer. I know many of you have heard the news about what took place in the Baptist Church in Texas. Some 26 people shot and killed in a church. It is devastating news to hear. It's tragic. It's painful. And the truth is, Simply saying we're going to pray about it's not enough anymore. We need to do something. Now, if you know me, you know that I like to hunt and fish. Guns are not a problem in and of themselves. But we need to do something different. Because what we're doing is not working. It's not acceptable. It's not right. We need to think about how we, as the church, as Jesus' representatives, address these issues. It needs to be thoughtful, it needs to be prayerful, and there needs to be action. Again, what we've been doing is simply not enough. Other prayer requests that I would like you to continue to lift to the Lord would be, of course, Bud Quay, as he continues to recover from his uh, surgery and his fall. Uh, the pacemaker is in and it's working and he's doing well. He was here with us in church on Sunday and was cheerful and upbeat as always. But keep in your prayers. Also, Shirley's brother, John, who we've been praying for, as you know, he his wife passed away a few weeks ago. And um, on coming Sunday they will be uh, bearing the remains but we need to keep this family in our prayers yet they're uh, still going through a lot and John had fallen before Nancy died and broke several uh, vertebrae in his back didn't do anything because he was very concerned about his wife and wasn't willing to leave and wanted to be with her as we well understand um, so now he's seeing the doctor, and this is the, the case. So we want to keep him in our prayers also. My father, as you know, um, was dealing with some kidney stones and uh, had a, a stent put in place. He is right now comfortable, and he's at home. He will be having surgery on the 21st to remove the stones. And as I understand, they'll be using um, <clears throat> laser to break those up and remove them. We're going to keep Walt in our prayers as well. Walt had surgery on Friday and uh, is, is doing well. The surgery took a little longer and they ran into some things they didn't expect. Uh, so he ended up spending the night in the hospital. But he is a bit more mobile, a little more comfortable, and recovering. Keep him in your prayers also. We want to continue to keep the Chibok girls in our prayers also. As you know, Gloria has been released. She is undergoing treatment as she recovers from her ordeal and eventually will make her way home. It is not an easy process. It is one that is difficult and at times painful. And I'd ask you to keep her in your prayers as well as the other girls who have been released and those who are still captive. We also want to keep our, our missionaries in our prayers. Bin Yu and Joanne and uh, Pat as they minister to people in various places around the world as they undertake the the mission that God has entrusted them with, we want to support and encourage them. So feel free to send a note, a word of encouragement. Um, a gift would never be a bad thing either. But keep them in your prayers. The sermon for Sunday, initially I'd planned this past Sunday to finish Exodus 4. That didn't happen. We did the first nine verses. So for the coming Sunday, we'll be looking at Exodus 4, 9 through 21. And uh, I'd ask you to, to look at that read it again, spend some time in prayer with it. We, we need to be prayerful and we need to be 
in God's word, these are the places where we hear from our God. So spend some time there and share with one another the good things we have received from those times with God. On a, a last note, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. It will be a good Sunday. We enjoy each other's company. It's a time for us to interact and to share the good news that we've received this week from God. So I look forward to seeing you, and I trust that you will have a good week and that God will bless you and enable you to be a blessing to those around you. But brothers and sisters, if it's a difficult week, let us know so we, your church family, can pray for you and encourage you and lift you before the throne of God for all the needs and the problems of this day. I will see you on Sunday. I hope you have a, a great week, and I look forward to seeing you soon.